serving RNZAF officer. Give him a big hand if you would as he taxis past. Airborne in the X3, full noise. And here comes Mark O'Sullivan showing his particularly special party trick. Here's the beauties of the 30s coming along, Graham. <coughs> we'll certainly be talking about those shortly. The um, wonderful aircraft from the golden age of aviation. Big part of that's down to Gem Aviation having a bit of a specialist. Uh, very nicely done. team consisted of nine aircraft, all Yakolev Yak-52s. First flown in 1976, the Yak-52 is a Soviet design and built two-seat training aircraft. As you can see, we're uh, we're heading back in time, where life was a lot simpler, and the planes were. So what about here, Graham? Okay, leading the flight was the Saltworth Pup with its nine rotary engine, followed by two Newports, and just taking off now the Bristol Fighter, Bristol F two B. A little shot on German, very graciously and kindly by Sir Peter Jackson, providing some 22 aeroplanes along with the most remarkable memorabilia collection. Some of the things there I think are as good as, if not better, than anything you'll see anywhere in the world. You know, artifacts from Sir, uh, um, sorry, artifacts from Manfred von Richthofen and the Red Baron, and people like. Um, Eddie Rickenbacker, the top scoring American ace. Here's the trio of fighting scouts.
So was the Bristol a, uh, a successful design during the war? Very much so, commercial flying in the Bristol Tour. Bristol fighter is wearing an unusual colour scheme with its brick red fuselage and cream wings. And that Jerry and the Allied forces that we always win at um, <laughs> Omaka. It's a little bit easier when we don't have any enemy aircraft. So it's quite fresh and, and quite a buzz for me to see it actually. Just coming in for landing now is uh, Wayne Tantrum flying the Chariots of Fire Fighter Collection Saltworth Harp. And this is powered by a, a gnome rotary engine, 100 horsepower gnome built right here at Omarka by Classic Aero Machining Service. Here you have the distinctive sound of the blipping that comes from a World War One rotary engine. Yes, very much so. So a big wave for Wayne Tantrum, operating with salt with pup. Well known for restoration work. And chief engineer for a while for Sound Zero. The silver Newport with pen eleven on the side. So we've got the squirrel doing the uh, the monsoon bucket. And I guess you you would say they get water from wherever is most handy. As you can see the uh, the orange container on the other side of the uh, the airstrip is where we're getting water from today, but it could be rivers, ponds, bulk haulage, trucks, anything that uh, they can get a bucket into. So that's actually going to drop that on you. <laughs> Hope you've got your uh, wet weather gear on. But depending on the type of fire for these uh, monsoon buckets, being heavy or light vegetation, the helicopter airspeed, release height and bucket configuration can be altered to suit to quite a flexible operation from mobile helicopters.
They don't have tail wheels, they're tricycle undercarriage aircraft and all have nose wheels. It means that when the aeroplane's at rest on the ground, the fuselage is horizontal, so you always have Preparations coming along if you turn slightly to the left. ready to take off and a scenario from World War II. Here comes that uh, very gnarly ominous V2.
here we have the Soviet Polycarp of PO2, a very rare vintage biplane making its first air show appearance at Omaha Field this week. Okay, yep. here's yep. Bill and Ryan rolling in the Avro Anson. If anyone would like to suggest a name for this engine sound, please let us know. <laughs> it's your turn. Just remember, chicken plucker has been taken. <laughs> We're certainly getting the variety today. Just looking into the sky up to the left, we can see the fog wolf a little bit higher. To launch one of them, as you can see, we've got a range of vehicles there. Several vehicles, which are power generators, compressors, and then you've got the actual launch control module. So quite a quite a pile. Of Here they come. 